Hello, word detection people. All right, so continuing on from the last episode where when we set up the blend shapes inside Moto, I saved the exported that FBX from Moto into the Unity project, and then now I'm going to hook that up inside of Unity. So here we had Moto open, and the model had the various blend shapes. And we're going to pull this right into Unity. Here is the head that I added inside the Unity Assets folder. And I'll just pop over into Unity. And I had saved that FBX under head. Oh, that's it right there. That's the head FBX. Okay, now I need to open the scene to use that. So let's, let's go back to scenes and go to example 14, blend shapes. Okay. So example 14, and it takes a skin mesh render, which is that head. So we'll go to models and bring this head into the scene. Okay. And on example 14, all you have to do is drag the head over to the skin mesh render slot, um, but expand the head, actually grab the mesh because the mesh is the skin mesh render and you can see all the different blend shapes that it pulled in here's all the different sounds that we set up great i'm going to set those to zero and click on example 14 drag and drop the mesh head onto the head slot okay save the scene hit play Okay, pick the microphone, record a noise sample, and now you can see, like, definitely before it had been switching between sounds and it was immediate switching, and now it is blending. And you can tell the blending, if I click on the mesh here, you can see as each word is detected, it does a little, it uses time.delta time and scales these from 0 to 100 as they approach 100. It does the various blend shapes and brings that into focus. Otherwise, when it stops, it cycles back down to 0. And there we go. Now we have a smooth talking head that's connected to the word detection input. All right, and then using this tool, you'll be able to hook up your own heads if you follow the same process. You can have a talking head and you can have your own talking head connected to word detection input that uses blend shapes for smooth transitions between word shapes and facial shapes. You can use more than the eight that I've set up here. And remember, you need at least an idle blend shape. It uses idle when the noise or no other word is detected. Other than that, you're not limited on the number of facial shapes. It automatically detects the blend shapes when it imports, and those are automatically created as words. And then you just set the little profile for each word sound, and then you'll have a talking head. All right. Well, thanks for watching.